How's it going, everybody? Today, got a little tasting session. I, 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 I was calling them tobacco reviews, and I think I'm gonna change that. I think I'm gonna call them like tasting session or something like that because tobacco review is too much like um, I don't know. Smoking tobacco is so so uh, subjective. It's not like an objectively good or an objectively bad thing. So I think for me, I'm just gonna call like tasting sessions. I'll probably still say whether or not whether or not I like something or not, but generally I'm gonna try to just you know go through the normal things that you would do in like a normal tobacco review and talk about you know kind of how I like it, how I don't like it, or whatever, or what you know what kind of notes I'm getting, uh, what kind of feelings I'm getting, and then go from there. So. Um, yeah, so I think we're going to change things up a little bit and be more of like a tasting session. Um, anyway, today, what I'm smoking is, well, first I'm smoking in uh, my little, this is a little Winslow Crown. So you can see the crown there. It's a little Winslow Crown. Um, it's a billiard. It's a uh, kind of like a, kind of like a brandy-ish billiard. It's not like, you know, straight uh, billiard shape and I'm smoking uh, a little bit of that stuff that I got from killer briar 626 on Instagram he sent me a little bit of this it's his own stuff that he's doing his own tobacco that he's blending and um, it's pretty interesting I smoked probably 10 12 bowls of it and um, I, I think I've got a little bit of a handle on it at first it really threw me for a loop because the smell that you get I mean, the smell in the bag is very interesting. Um, to me, it's, I think, the, 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 like, the three biggest smells, I'd say, would be, like, toast, like a wheat toast. Um, like a honey. And, like, some sort of a jam, like a, like a berry or some sort of, you know, a jam or a jelly. Um, it's very interesting. When I first smelled it, I thought... Oh man, this is probably gonna be right up my alley. It's kind of sweet. It's kind of bready. It's gonna, you know, it's got some like notes of fruit and things like that. Um, but it's this is an interesting blend because it, <laughs> in my opinion, does not taste when you're smoking it at all like how it smells in the bag. It um, is very very different. Um, Highland, I think it was Highland, no, 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 10 to Midnight, I think, was the one, was one that I smoked where, um, when you smelled it, it, in the bag, it, yeah, I think it was 10 to Midnight, Hearth and Homes, 10 to Midnight, yeah, uh, when you smelled it in the bag, versus when you smoked it, were two completely different, um, worlds, um, I don't remember exactly what that, what it was, but, I think it was like in the in, you know smell of ten to midnight in the bag was your classic you know Latakia type you know Latakia with forward blend very smoky, but then when you smoked it it was way more Oriental uh, based lots of incense um, qualities and spices and things like that Latakia was still there but um, and this is kind of similar in that I get like very bready fruity kind of honey sweet notes and then when you smoke it. This is not like any Virginia Perique I think I have ever smoked. It's very heavy, very dark, uh, very earthy. Um, the only the way I could describe the smoke is like being like very chewy. It's not like a wispy um, smoke. It's uh, basically a Virginia Perique. There's, I think, I think what it says is there's two different Virginia leaf tobaccos, uh, Stowe Virginia, and a good amount of Perique. So. I'm guessing that that fruity, that kind of like jam jelly um, smell is, you know, probably the Perique and then maybe a little bit of the stove. There's also kind of like a mustiness to it when you smell it. Like, not a bad mustiness, but just sort of, I think it's like the steam, The I think it's the stove Virginia's just kind of putting a little, uh, like a little funk, like kind of like a barnyard musty funk in there. Um, 
but it's 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 I would say it's m more for me it's more on the back end. The three main ones are like toast, fruit, and honey. Um, but then, like I said, when you smoke it. It does not smoke like how it smells, in my opinion. It just doesn't. Um, it's not bad. It's not a bad smoke at all. Um, I think what it is, I think it's the stowed Virginias and the Perique basically just take over. And you get a little bit of the ver regular leaf Virginias kind of here and there, but to me it seems like the Stowe Virginias and the Perique have like the biggest, boldest flavors and they're probably, and they're used in I think fairly decent, decent portions. So I think they just take over and they run the show. I mean, there, there is a, uh, there is a pretty decent portion of what I would probably, what I would like to think is most likely Stowe Virginias, where big, they're big pieces of like what looks like dark Virginia. And then, there's some kind of smaller ribbons of like a muted, like a mute, like a dark grayish, greenish, um, which I would consider probably consider more to be Perique, and then you obviously have your lighter color Virginias in there as well. But I don't know. To me, it feels pretty obvious that the the stowed Virginias. And the Perique are running the show here. Um, you know what it kind of feels like? This might not make sense. It kind of feels like... Sorry about the road noise. It kind of feels like a heavy Latakia blend, but the Latakia forgot to be smoky. That's what it kind of feels like. It feels like it's the Latakia forgot to be smoky and instead it's like deep, earthy, rich, but not like in a flavorful way, more like in like a chewy, like a thick, chewy smoke kind of a way. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's definitely flavor there, but... Um, Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's very interesting. I thought I had a handle on this stuff. Um, and I think for the most part I do, but I'm having a hard time describing what's going on here. Um, it's... Uh, that I think that, I don't know, I, I don't know if it makes sense, but it, it seems like it's, an, it's, a, it's a Balkan blend where the Latakia forgot to be smoky. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. And it's got, you know, Stowe Virginia, you know, obviously this, that's, I think that's more or less probably coming from the Stowe Virginia is like that thicker, heavier um, smoking quality. Um, In terms of other flavors, um, it's got a lot of qualities that I would associate with uh, Virginia Perique generally. Um, you 
There's a little bit of nose tickle. You can definitely feel, taste, smell the perique when I exhale. I can definitely smell that perique. It's got kind of a peppery note. Um, And the light Virginias are definitely there. Um, if you kind of put that, what I, what I'm, and I don't know, it might not be, if you kind of put that, what the, the stove Virginias are doing, if you kind of put that in the back of your mind a little bit, because to me, that's what kind of jumps out uh, to me in the beginning. If you kind of put that a little bit in the back of your mind, you can... You can experience a little bit of that interplay with the uh, lighter Virginias and the Perique, and you can almost kind of, you can almost kind of taste or feel what it might be like if it didn't have still Virginias in it. It's not an overly sweet blend. To me, um, I'd say it's much more of an earthy quality. Um, it's not, you know, it's, it's more of a, like a dry earthy quality. Um, it's not like a Rainer Long Golden Flake or Deluxe Navy Rolls. It honestly, to me, feels more like um, McBaron HH Acadian Perique um, or Eliz Elizabethan uh Peterson Elizabethan um, in terms of like the earthiness like both of those are like more like dark earthy um, Virginia Periques whereas like the Scudo and Deluxe Navy Rolls are like on the sweeter fruitier side in my opinion um, I'm not the biggest fan of like Elizabethan and HH Acadian Freak. I, I don't, that's not how I prefer my vapors to, uh, to be. But what's interesting here is that the stove Virginias, I feel like kind of save it for me a little bit and that it offers that like deeply chewy, like dark, like rich feeling, maybe not necessarily rich tasting, although it it does have a nice rich flavor, but it's like the feeling of it is is something that I haven't experienced very much smoking a pipe. Um, and I, I honestly, a lot of it might come down to the cut too, because the cut on some of this on some of this leaf is like very thick, uh, very broad, very wide. Um, mostly with the stoved what what I what I believe would be the stoved Virginias um, they're big chunks big flakes you know big pieces in there um, and I think when they get going they they just put off a lot of smoke It's interesting stuff. Um, <laughs> it's one of those, like, it's hard for me to really get a feel for it. Um, and usually it's like that when, when I smell a tobacco and then I taste it. And the to me, the smell in the bag or the tin and, and like, the taste while, while under light are so different. It's hard for me to get a grasp on it, you know, because I smell it and I go... Oh, this is going to be one thing. And then you smoke it and you're like, that's not it at all. Um, I don't think it's a... Um, it's not a light, you know, it's, it's, it's fairly heavy, 
Uh, I think it's there's a good amount of strength there. Um, there's a good amount of nicotine there. I think if I know right, if I remember right, I think Killer Briar. I think he likes you know kind of a stronger, heavier, chewier uh, smoke. So it makes sense. Um, you know this kind of makes sense in that way. Not that it would knock you on your ass, but at the same time, if I had a guy that was like, oh, you know, I'm, I've am i never smoked a pipe before and I'm interested, like, you know, can you set me up? I don't think I'd be like, well, I got a good idea. I'm going to put some of this in your pipe. I, I don't know that it would be the best introduction to pipe smoking, but I think it's something, for me, it's kind of challenged me a little bit to, like, think about tobacco in a little bit different way and to, like, really to really like not let my nose dictate what a tobacco may or may not smoke like because it doesn't it doesn't smell in the bag like I said before like how it tastes in the pipe it also doesn't feel or smell in the bag how it's gonna feel in the pipe um, I didn't have the expectation of like a real thick, meaty, um, chewy smoke, uh, and that's what I got. So it's it's very it's very odd in that way, but I think it's pretty good. I mean, the, like I said, the flavors are more like if you've had Elizabethan or H H Acadian Perique, just thicker, just a thicker, deeper um, uh, version of those two. Um, there's just a tiny bit of sweetness there. There's just a lot of it's a lot of, in my opinion, what it what it seems to me is like, it's a lot of that Perique and the Stowe Virginia interplay. That's how that's the best way I can describe it. Um, I don't it probably wouldn't be a middle of the summer blend for me. Um, you know, now's a good time of year for it. Fall winter. Um, and it's interesting stuff. I. I I don't uh, I don't know where to classify it it's hard it's hard for me to classify I think where I classify it is probably that I think the best way for me to describe it is I like it but I think it's probably not for me because it's not what I generally reach for in a in a Virginia Perique blend um, that being said, it could be a very interesting um, change of pace Virginia Perique for me. But generally, I don't want change of pace Virginia Perique. I want Virginia Perique. I want Escudo. I want Deluxe Navy Rolls, Rainer Long Golden Flake, Astley's 109, things like that. Um, you know, some of the... Um, some of the former Virginia Periques. You know, those ones where it's like you, I'm very, I, you know, because I, I, that's my favorite flavor profile is like some of those. And I generally don't want, um, I generally don't want change of pace from those. I just want those. You know, my change of pace from those would be smoking like Piccadilly or, uh, you know, a Virginia Burley or, you know, some other kind of English or Balkan blend. That's my change of pace, not a slightly different, not really in my wheelhouse, Virginia Perique. Um, I don't want to criticize, obviously. Sorry, I'm hearing something. I think cat's on the roof or something. Um, I don't want it to sound like a criticism because it's definitely not a criticism because I, I really do like what he's trying to do with this blend i just think that it's generally probably not in my wheelhouse in terms of uh my normal virginia periques but it's been very interesting smoking it and I've, i haven't i haven't i've enjoyed every time i've smoked it it's especially because it really makes me think and kind of feel things out and it's been a confusing it's a bit of confusing blend for me to kind of nail down and figure out and i think that i still probably have some more work to do on it but i felt good enough with it that i could do this 
it's always hard describing tobaccos. It's always hard describing the smoke and the experience, um, which is why I don't like doing tobacco reviews. Um, I just like to kind of tell people generally my experience with the tobacco, which I think I did okay with here today. So anyway, let me know in the comments um, if you guys have smoked it, what you think about it, if you feel like I'm spot on. Hopefully Killer Briar will weigh in and let me know if I'm kind of on the right track of like maybe where he was trying to go with the blend. Maybe, you know, he was trying to get something accomplished and, you know, hopefully I'm kind of in that ballpark or if I'm not, then that's good information to have as well. So, uh, anyway, interested in you guys' comments, let me know and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Adios.